it's 10 o'clock. And now, from TV8, where news is number one, Kevin Cooney, Kathy Soltero, Connie McBurney with weather, Pete Taylor Sports, and Allison Gilman on the health beat. This is TV8 News, live at 10. Good evening. American youth, they're fatter and getting less exercise. It took the Amateur Athletic Union 10 years and 12,000 students to determine the trend was downhill for physical fitness in this nation's schools. Looking at first graders through high school seniors, the AAU study found fitness fell from 43% in 1981 to 32% this year. So what's changed to make the problems even worse? AAU officials who directed the decade-long research cite a number of factors. More television, video games, and too much fat in school diets as well as at home. Basically, today's kids are just less active. American children are becoming more sedentary. When you become more sedentary, you become less fit. We are essentially cave age, stone age bodies attempting to cope with a space age culture. So what can be done to reverse the trend of weakened endurance levels among children who are also overweight and generally less physically fit? Well, the study recommends some answers. More intensive and sustained phys ed programs in the schools, less fat in those school diets, and students need to understand that fitness can make them happier and better adjusted. The problems facing the nation's school children unfortunately extend into Iowa, too. The Governor's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports reports one half of all Iowa school children are not getting enough exercise, and that puts them at risk for obesity and other medical problems. TV Health Beat reporter Allison Gilman joins us with what's being done to improve the situation in the state. Kathy, before the school year started, members of the Governor's Council sent letters to every school superintendent in the state asking them for more vigilance on fitness testing for school children. You know, it may surprise you to know that there are no guidelines for Iowa schools on what the minimum fitness levels for our children should be. Some Des Moines physical education teachers say the national standard measure of children's fitness, that measure being the President's challenge, they say that test is too rigid. Only the top 10% of children tested receive recognition. So some Des Moines middle school teachers are trying a new program called Physical Best. Pull-ups, push-ups, sit-ups, shaping up. It's all part of Physical Best for these sixth graders at Des Moines Pyatt Middle School. Circuit training is part of the fall pretest, but the real measure of the program's success will come next spring with a follow-up test. That post-test will show gains in areas like strength, endurance, flexibility, aerobic fitness, and body fat composition. Hyatt gym teacher Joy Fisher says physical best tops other national programs because the emphasis is on personal achievement, not competition between children. So to me, this was a way that I could say there's something in it for everybody. The kids that um, have weight problems, the kids that have health problems already, the kids that are pretty much given up and they're kind of backing off and afraid, you know, afraid to be in gym class. Fisher says if children can feel good about working out and be rewarded for their own progress, they'll be encouraged to keep it up for a lifetime. Students seemed eager to get started. The easiest was um, jogging in place and the hardest was push-ups. I think I'm in pretty good shape, but there are other people that are better than me. So you think you could improve? Yes. The, there's always a range for improvement. They're very competitive. How many students are expected to get recognition this year in this program? Fisher says at least half, if not more. They get recognition not only for the improvement that they make from this fall pretest to the spring post-test, but also if they work out at home or do things with their friends away from gym class. So really what this is is a motivation for them to include fitness as part of their lifetime goals, which is really a good plan. Sounds like it's really increasing the competitiveness. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Allison.